So for today, we're going to be looking at the faction ornaments that we got for the last week of the episode Echoes. So if you guys don't know, these are like really rare, like to the point where these were released, if I remember correctly, it wasn't released during Vanilla Destiny 2. It was released during um, Warmind, the last, the last uh, factions for Warmind. So these are really, really old. Not only that, they are really, really, really rare as well. And some of these exotics, it's the only ornament that it has specifically for the Titans and Warlocks hunters. That helmet has like another one and it's the better one if I'm being honest. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think because definitely you guys should pick these up i will tell you guys to pick up the titans and the warlocks a little bit more just because the hunter one is a little bit boring but you guys will understand when i when we get into it so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that let's check out some of the sets so for the first one it's going to be for knucklehead radar it's called predestination and I am not the biggest fan of this one. It is literally just a shader difference, which is very unfortunate because when you see the Titans and Warlock ones, they are so cool. So yeah, unfortunately the Hunters got the Future War Cult um, faction ornament, which very much sucks because there really is no uniqueness of it. So I decided to combine two of the knucklehead radar sets that I've done for this one and just combine them into one. So. For this one, Vanguard Dare Grips goes really well with the Prodigal Vest, and the Psionic Soccer Strides goes really well with the, with the Wildwood Cloak. Um, for the Shadering, it's going to be Regal Daring for everything but the Cloak, because with Regal Daring, the Cloak actually turns white, so I just decided to use Abyssinian Gold so that way I can have black. Um, this is not a bad set by any means, like it's pretty decent. Um, my only issue with it is just the fact that the Knucklehead Radar Ornament just looks very boring with this, which is why like I just ended up going for something else. Um, Specifically, when I say something else, I mean for Knucklehead Radar, it's either the mate, the base look of it or the ornament, which is way better. So, yeah, this is definitely like something that I just threw up and I was like, I'm just going to do it because I definitely see myself using this set, but definitely not with the predestination ornament. It's ba with the base look, it's just going to look way better. So Hunters, unfortunately, yours is just not that great. I would still pick it up just to have it um, as an option and just to complete the ornaments but you can definitely ignore this one because it's not that good in my opinion so let me know what you guys think and as for titans uh this is literally the reason why this video exists someone actually commented that they were having trouble with this ornament and this they asked me if i can make a video and i just thought that was a great idea because again these ornaments are really really rare so for this one um instead of leaning into that red i decided to use it as kind of like a very rare color which is why we're using war brick war brick is i mean you can see it in this in this whole thing war brick does not have any red aside from like the really really off colors which is why the hex rock mark is showcasing that red really beautifully so yeah i wanted to have the least amount of red in this as possible but still have red in there that goes well with war brick which is why again i ended up going for a lot of pieces that don't have red so fenrir's very Fenrir's Bane Gauntlets and Greaves and then the Nemean Helm. Uh, specifically the Nemean Helm goes really well with the Fenrir's Gauntlets and Greaves because there's a lot of pointy bits and feathers and Fenrir's Bane Greaves has feathers on the actual like ankle so I just decided to use feather or like the plated feather stuff as well so I actually really like this one um, just because again it's very it's very subtle like the well, first and foremost, I should probably explain that the Blazing Hearth ornament for the Crest of Alpha Lupi does not change color. Specifically, the red lines and the red on the top does not change color. So that is also a reason why I just decided to lean into the red um, subtly, not too crazy. I didn't want to just have everything red because that's too much. I feel like that is, that's way too much. Not only that, you have to be aware that the Fenrir, Bane, Greaves, and Gauntlets takes off colors. So that's another problematic thing. I still wanted to use Fenrir Bane gauntlets just because the feathers look really, really cool. And again, same thing for the Greaves. So I ended up going with War Brick because A, um, the red is very subtle when it comes to actually being showcased because it takes the off colors, like I said, but it also goes really well with the Greaves and the gauntlets, specifically the Greaves a lot better than the gauntlets. The gauntlets turns everything silver, which 
in hindsight i probably would just switch out the arms for something else not saying they're bad it's just they're the only silver aside from like a few pieces here and there from other sets but it's predominantly that silver which is not a big problem but it's just too much silver for everything else i like everything to have like the same amount of colors so that way nothing looks really weird and i do think the arms look really weird so i would definitely switch out the arms for something else but i would switch them out for something that has either feathers or something along those lines or just looks kind of regal so i definitely would go back into it and just switch the arms out but everything else is really really cool i mean to be fair if i'm going to be switching out fenrir's bane uh the gauntlets then i would just put the fenrir's mark i think that one would be way better not saying the hex rot mark is bad it's just it the hex rot is not available anymore it is an ornament from a season pass um so in fenrir's bane all of it is available in the store if i remember correctly i mean probably not now but it will be in the future because i think uh Venner's bane came out last season if i remember correctly and usually when we have armor that uh came out a previous season the next season usually does not have the armor available so um in the next episode the the Fenrir's armor should be available i say should i don't know if it will be but it should so definitely my favorite so far and then last but not least we're going to be using the gaze beyond world ornament for the eye of another world i love this ornament this is the coolest ornament in my opinion just because it doesn't really change the geometry of the armor but it it makes it a lot more foreboding because um the base look of it is just literally white um kind of like like a sky in there this one just turns it into like the opposite where it's just darkness and then just a circle of like orange and then the dots on the actual helmet also glow as well which is really cool which is also a reason why we're using Erebos glance Erebos glance is almost the same color specifically the glow is almost the same color as the actual eye or the circle thing which is the whole reason why we're using Erebos glance um, for the arms psionic speaker gloves specifically because it goes really well with the first ascent chest piece um the armor on the right side is on the shoulder pad and everything and even the bond as well so i decided to get an armor piece or specifically arms that had armor on the right side and not on the left side and thankfully psionic speaker glove does do that now unfortunately psionic speaker glove is also an ornament that is from a previous season pass same thing with the virtuous boots but you could also just switch a few of these pieces out now that being said i don't know if uh, there is any other arm that has armor on one side and not the other there are a few but i don't know if it's specifically like on the right side there's armor and then the left side there's nothing so definitely would have to search for that um virtuous boots would be an easy switch just switch them out for like an iron banner piece or anything that looks like medievalish because uh, if you guys don't know the first ascent is like it's straddling the the line of like art like a like an actual like knight warrior armor and like a futuristic armor which is why i really like the first ascent armor um and then the hexer bond uh this one is available it is the um the witcher armor so this one is not hard to get you just have to buy it but overall i really really like this set i would probably say that the titans is my favorite personally just because that ornament like all of it just looks so so good but I definitely would say the the hunters lost on this one just because the ornament is not that good it doesn't change the geometry i mean it changes the glow very like slightly but not enough for it to be meaningful not like gaze beyond worlds where that one's literally like everything looks just so much more foreboding and the titans like the whole geometry of the chess piece changes which is really cool and unfortunately i think they just dropped the ball on the hunter one just because it is pretty terrible so hopefully commenter i did you justice uh hopefully i gave you some ideas as well that's usually what i make these videos for not only to just show showcase my fashion but also to give people ideas because i do like to help people because some of the, some of the pieces that we get sometimes it's fucking hard to like fashion around so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later